Welcome back to Poetry. Today we are going to be learning about concrete poems that are in the shape of the subject or thing or person that they're talking about and writing about. This is a very famous poem called A Leaf Poem by E.E. E. Cummings. So down here at the bottom it says E.E. E. Cummings. That's the poet's name. And a leaf falls. So think about a leaf falling and look at how this is written. So let's look up here. We have an L, but then we have parentheses. Parentheses is where we're gonna give the, the reader a little bit more information. It says a leaf, but they've split the word up, leaf. Kind of looks like the shape of a leaf. A leaf falls. Again, it's coming down like this. Then there's the end of our parentheses. And we had this L up here. This L actually goes with another word, loneliness. So now scoop back and look at it all together. It's talking about, it has the word loneliness and in the middle of that word loneliness, being by yourself, and look how he emphasized the word one in the word loneliness. Inside the word loneliness, he puts a leaf falls. And it's almost like the shape of a leaf coming down to the bottom and settling at the bottom. And he put in the word loneliness, one leaf falling all by itself to the bottom. Isn't that beautiful and simple? It's not very many words, but he used the way he broke up the words and he put them into a shape kind of like a leaf falling down. Well, there are a lot of cool ways that you can make a concrete poem. Okay, here's another example. This one is titled, In a Twist. And look at the shape of it. It's in the shape of a tornado. It says, we felt the rain, wind, and hail, and then the thunder and lightning came. Like the winds gathered up and began to spin like a spinning top, sucking up dust like a vacuum cleaner. The twister went around and around like a merry-go-round. The gusts of air were picking up dust. It continued to roar loudly, destroying everything along the way. Soon, it was gone. And look how it, they put those words in the shape of a tornado. They used similes, okay? It was spinning like a top. The dust was getting sucked up like a vacuum cleaner. They even put an adverb in here. First grade's been talking about adverbs. How did it roar? It roared loudly. And then it was gone. Okay, so this is sort of like line breaks, but you're really being specific to make a particular shape. Okay. You could also do one. This one looks like a coffee cup. And they're using words all about a hot drink. This one, look at that. They used their words and they made a panda using the negative space to be the white space of the panda, okay? So you have so many options. You can look online. This one's in the shape of a tree. This one's in the shape of a dancer, a fox, okay? A butterfly, so many ideas. So what I want you to do is get inspired by E.E. E. Cummings and create your own concrete poem, whatever shape you want. And then you can use similes and adjectives and all of your ideas for writing to create an amazing poem in that shape. I can't wait to see what you do. Bye.